Assalamualaikum, Brother Jane. Waalaikumsalam, children. How are you? Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. I'm so happy that you came to visit me again. Is there anything wrong, Brother Zain? Well, Fatima, I actually feel a little sad today. Why? You see, I got terrible news from South Africa. A friend of mine, who I've known for most of my life, back home in South Africa, passed away this morning. That's really sad. I know, Fatima. But you know, as Muslims, even in these tough times, I suppose we always should realize that it's very much part of our journey. And we should always remember that we are only going to be here for a very, very little while. Have you ever lost anyone close to you? Yes. Who? Uh, My grandpa. Your grandpa? I bet you felt really sad when he passed away. How about you, Abdullah? No. Well, you know, I suppose this is the reality of life that we forget sometimes. We go on thinking that we're going to live forever and we plan and think every day of things we can do and things we want to achieve and then suddenly it hits us, you know, especially when we hear that someone close to us like our friends or even our grandparents pass away. You know, the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, once said that we should be in this world as if we were travelers, like strangers. We shouldn't be attached to this world because we should always remember that we are going to die and that is the real test. Because once we die, Allah will hold us accountable for the time that we spent here. And if we've been good people, if we've been good Muslims, we will reach our final destination. You know, for example, have either of you traveled on an airplane before? Yes. How about you, Abdullah? Yes. So let's say you were traveling in an airplane, and you were traveling somewhere, and the place you were going to, you were going to stay for an awful long time. So you had a choice. You could either travel in first class, get everything you want, but when you get there, you stay in the worst possible place ever. Would you choose that? Or you travel by airplane in economy class, which is really cramped and small. But when you get there to your destination, you stay in the best place. So which would you choose? I would choose to stay in the best place when I arrive. At your destination. And that's kind of like life is. You see, we go through tough times while we're here for the short time. We might be cramped and struggled and pushed and pulled in certain ways. But if we get through those tests with patience and prayer to Allah, when we reach our destination, that's when everything is just perfect. And that's when we will be happy for all of time. And I think that's the real test because sometimes we don't think about death too much. And then we will be happy for eternity. Can you please tell us more about your friend? Well, my friend, his name was Mubin, and I've known him ever since we were five years old. And we grew up together, we went to school together, we had great times. I think one of the things that I always remember about him is that he was always very strong on the inside. He always stood up for what was right, and I always admired him for that. And another thing I always remembered him for was his smile. He always had the best of smiles. And talking about that, just as you were coming in, I was looking through my songbook and I wrote a new song called I Remember Your Smile. And this is for my friend. Where there's a right, there is no wrong. I always thought we were so strong. But our time just flew right by. There wasn't a chance to say goodbye. 
I'm so confused. I feel all alone. Deep in my heart, I know Allah has called you home. Oh, but yet your smile still lingers in my mind and yet it's so hard i just break down and cry i remember your eyes our friendship always strong most of all I remember, I remember your smile. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum as salam, Brother Dawood. Oh, Zayn, my sad and struggling library pal. Oh, inna lillahi wa inna lillahi rajiun. Ah, I'm really man. sorry to hear the news. I came over as soon as I found out. Yeah, I was really sad to hear it, you know. I've known him all my life. But Allahu Alam, you know, Allah knows best and, you know, it's something that we should all accept that death is very much a part of life. Yeah, but it's still hard for those of us who are left behind, that's for sure. And I know that Mubin was really important to you, so. I was just telling Abdullah and Fatima how much I miss him and I think about him. And, you know, out of all the things that I remember, I remember his smile the most. Mm. Yeah, you know, I, I remember hearing you talk about him so much and all the things you've done together and all the things he taught you. You know, Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is reported to have said something to the effect that whatever we do in this life to make the world a better place, whatever we do to teach others something good, it carries on after we pass away. Muhammad, peace be upon him, gave the example of a garden. That if you plant a garden and you grow trees and fruits, birds eat those fruits or animals eat those foods or, or people partake in that garden, even after you've passed away, you continue to get the blessings for that good deed that you did. You know, Mobin taught you so many things and shared so many memories with you. If you can remember to keep that spirit that he had alive in your own life and, and pass on all those things he taught you to other people, even his smile, well, then, God willing, he'll get that reward too. Yeah, inshallah. And obviously I will remember him in my prayers every day. And I pray that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forgives him for his sins and grants him Jannah, inshallah. Amen. You know, in these tough times, I think a lot about that song you wrote, Allah Knows. Because Allah knows exactly how you must be feeling right now, even if it's hard for us to really understand. When you feel all alone in this world, and there's nobody to count your tears, just remember no matter where you are, Allah knows, Allah knows. When you're carrying a monster load And you wonder how far you can go With every step on the road that you take Allah knows Allah knows No matter what inside or out There's one thing of which there's no doubt Allah knows Allah knows and whatever lies in the heavens and the earth, every star in this whole universe, Allah knows, Allah knows. When you find that special someone, feel your whole life has barely begun. When you feel all alone in this world, and there's nobody to count your tears, just remember, no matter where you are, Allah knows, Allah knows. When you're carrying a monster load, and you wonder how far you can go, with every step on the road that you take, Allah knows, Allah knows. No matter what inside or out, there's one thing of which there's no doubt. Allah knows, Allah knows. And whatever lies in the heavens.
heavens and the earth, every star in this whole universe, all I know, all I know. When you find that special someone, you feel your whole life has barely begun. You can walk on the moon, shout it to everyone, all I know. When you gaze with love in your eyes, catch a glimpse of paradise, and you see of a child take the first breath of life, all I know, all I know. No matter what inside or out, there's one thing of which there's no doubt, all I know, all I know. And whatever lies in the heavens and the earth, every star in this whole universe, Allah knows, Allah knows. When you lose someone close to your heart, see your whole world fall apart. And you try to go on, but it seems so hard, Allah knows, Allah knows. See, we all have a path to choose. Through the valleys and hills we go. The ups and the downs never fret, never frown. Allah knows. Allah knows. No matter what inside or out, there's one thing of which there's no doubt. Allah knows. Allah knows. And whatever lies in the heavens and the earth, every star in this whole universe, Allah knows, Allah knows. Every grain of sand in every desert, let He knows. Every sparkling tear on every eyelash, He knows. Every shade of palm, every closed hand, he knows. Every thought I have, and every word I share, he knows. Allah knows. They say that they would be enjoying this Allah Akbar. कलाम कुरान बुझते चान कुरान बुझते होले शाहायों के हिसाबे कुरान शंक्षित तो किचु विषय जानते होले ये विषय गुलो आलोचित होये अच्छे रूलू मुल कुरान शिरो नामे रूम उल कुरान शीरीज सुनते और देखते अमार उपस्थापितो प्रोग्राम जो कराकुल एकमात्र पीस टीवी बांग्ला है। कुरान के भालू भाभी बुजुर्ग जनों की की विषय ज्ञान रखा जरूरी जानते होले देखून उल्मुल कुरान और इस्लामी आदर्शों आज रात शाले आठ टाइप आपूनों शाम प्रचार शकल छठ टाइप बांग्लादेशे पीस टीवी बांग्लाए Saturdays provide In Britain we are facing one big problem that are you Muslim or British The space to talk In India back home they ask are you a Muslim first or Indian first and we Muslims should know how to reply how to turn the tables over the place to knock. Why Trinity cannot be regarded in that sense? Father, Son and Holy Spirit. The opportunity to ask. But even if we agree that what the Christians say, that he was crucified, 
So if Jesus Christ peace be upon him died for three days, who controlled the world? That means even God died. The freedom to unmask. So there are various ways which we can prove the argument yeah, to be wrong. Dekhun, Dr. Jakirat Shonge Alap Kori. Proti Shonibar, Rat Shad Shad Tai, Apuno Shamprochar, Shokal Shade Notai, Bangladesh, Peace TV Banglai. Oh, you know, I think I'm going to miss him so much. No, I'm sure you will. But you know, whenever we lose someone who's close to us, a family member or a friend like Mubin, it often reminds me of Ramadan. Yeah, well, well, you know how we can eat food, drink water, and juice anytime we want. But during Ramadan, Allah asks us to stay away from the water and the food and the juice that we're used to all the time. We know it's there, but we just can't get to it until the sun goes down. And so we have faith all day. And we stay strong all day, waiting for that time when we can break our fast. And then once again, we can eat the food and drink the water and the juice. And it really helps us to appreciate it. Well, when someone we know passes away and returns to Allah, it's kind of like that thing that we're used to having with us all the time is gone. And so we have to be strong and we have to be patient. And remember that this is just one part of life. There's a whole life to come after this one with Allah. You're going to see Mubin again, inshallah. It'll be just like breaking your fast if you can just be strong and patient. And the next time you see Mubin, it'll be kind of like iftar time. You'll get to see him again and laugh with him again and smile with him again. Inshallah. Inshallah. You know, something else kind of occurred to me too. You know how we haven't had any rain for a long time? Oh yeah. Wow. When the earth doesn't have any rain, like now, it gets really dry and, and sometimes the soil even cracks. There's been times when I've looked at the cracked, dry earth and I think, it's never going to come back to life. How can a plant and grass and flowers that have died and wilted because there's no rain possibly come back to life? But you know, I'm always amazed when it starts to rain again, how it only takes a few hours before those plants and flowers and grass start to grow and come back to life. And Allah tells us the same thing in the Quran, that even though we're going to pass away one day, there's going to be a whole new life to come that's going to grow just the way this life grew, only better. So I wrote a little song for you on the way over, Zane. I, I thought it might kind of cheer you up. <clears throat> I call this song, Life Returns. The earth is hard, soil is cracked, bleached and blistered. Trees bend, withered and weary. The ground gasps, dusty and dry. Allah hears and the rains come. Wetting and washing the world, flushing and flooding the clay, spilling and splashing, life returns. Oh, life returns. Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar. We are the cracked earth, the dusty, dirty spirit of man. If we gasp, we will be heard. Forgiveness falls like rain on our hands. Allah hears and the rains come Flushing and flooding the world Spilling and splashing Life returns Oh, life returns Allahu Akbar Allahu Akbar Allahu Oh, thank you, Dawood. 
It really means a lot to me that you wrote a special song just to cheer me up. Well, you know, Zane, I'd be really honored if you'd keep it in your book of rhymes for struggling times. So if you think of Mubeen, maybe you can sing it, feel a bit better. Oh, thank you, Darren. You know, talking about things that I've learned from him, I remember Mubeen telling me a story once of a fisherman who stood, you know, just off the coast and he was relaxing in the early afternoon, looking out at sea. So a guy walked up to him and said, what are you doing? You know, it's only two o'clock. And the fisherman said, nothing. And the guy said, you know, you could go out and get another load of fish. There's still a lot of time for that. But the guy just kept looking out and smiling and he said, no, I'm fine. He said, but why not? He said, well, why should I? Well, the businessman said, well, if you get another load of fish today, you could sell them and make more money. So the fisherman kept looking out and said, and then what? The businessman said, well, if you keep doing that every day, you can double your load and you can double your income. So the fisherman nodded and said, and then what? So the businessman said, well, then after two weeks, if I work it out correctly, you can afford another boat. So the fisherman said, and then what? Then the guy said, well, after a month with two boats going out every day, you can catch even more fish. And then your income will grow four times. And the fisherman looked at him and said, and then what? He said, well, then you can even get more boats. And you can start a small fleet of boats. And every morning, maybe 10 or 20 boats can go out and catch more fish. So the fisherman said, and then what? He said, well, then you can get lots of stuff. You can get a big house and you can get a car and you can start enjoying life. So the fisherman smiled and he said, what do you think I'm doing now? <laughs> so sometimes we get so caught up in wanting more things, but it doesn't really give us peace of mind. So whenever I think of sometimes, you know, piling up all my material things, I think of that story of that fisherman. But more importantly, I think of my friend who told me that story. No, you can't take it with you when you go. Oh, no, you can't take it with you when you go. Can't understand why you keep holding on. Just cause you can't take it. You can't take it. You can't take it with you when you go. Oh, when you go. I see you pride yourself in your new car. Chatting on your compact Nokia. And you love your expensive clothes. But you can't take it with you when you go, when you go. No, you can't take it with you when you go. Oh, no, you can't take it with you when you go. Can't understand why you keep holding on. Just cause you can't take it. No, you can't take it. You can't take it with you when you go, oh, when you go. No, you can't take your big screen TV, no, your variety of DVDs. No, you can't take your designer shoes. Everything you have, you're going to lose. No, you can't take it with you when you go. Oh no, you can't take it with you when you go. Can't understand why you keep holding on. Just cause you can't take it. No, you can't take it. You can't take it with you when you go. Oh, when you go. Cause there's one thing that matters when you're walking down that street. It's the good and bad that you sent for in your book of deeds. So make sure that you're ready to receive it in your right hand. And take your place among the righteous of man. No, you can't take it with you when you go. 
Oh, oh no, you can't take it with you when you go. Can't understand why you keep holding on. Just cause you can't take it. No, you can't take it. You can't take it with you when you go. Oh, when you go. No, you can't take it with you when you go. Oh, no, you can't take it with you when you go. Can't understand why you keep holding on. Just cause you can't take it. No, you can't take it. You can't take it with you when you go. Oh, when you go. Oh, thank you, Dowd. You know, you really, really managed to cheer me up. And you've also reminded me that I pray that my friend Mubin is in a better place and Allah forgives him and really grants him the place that we all hope to get to someday, Jannah. Inshallah. And thank you, children, for also listening to my story. And You know, sometimes when we're going through tough times, there's nothing better than having people that care about you close by and give you the support. No problem. Well, we're here for you, Zaini. Anything you need, Inshallah. Inshallah. All right. Inshallah. So do you want to come out with us for a little while, or do you feel like maybe staying here for a little bit? Honey? You know, I think I'll just uh, be by myself for a little while. All right, no problem. Well, maybe we can go out together somewhere. And, uh... yeah. Assalamu alaikum, everybody. Mm. All right, assalamu alaikum, Zayn. Okay. Assalamu alaikum, guys. Assalamu alaikum, Brother Zayn. I'm sure Brother Zayn really appreciated you being here to talk with him and help him feel a bit better. जहांगीरब्राहिम जहांगीर आलम সর্বশেষ চূড়ান্ত ধর্ম ইসলাম রিজিক দাতা মাতাও নন পিতাও নন মুসলমানের একটা আস্থা বিশ্বাস গোটা বিশ্বের তিনি রব আল্লাহ তালা মানব জাতিকে সৃষ্টি করেছেন এর মূল ইউনিট হলো পরিবার বোঝেন জীবনের বার্তা জ্ঞান গর্ভ আলোচনার মঞ্চ আজ রাত সাড়ে নটায় বা পুনঃ সম্প্রচার সকাল আটটায় বাংলাদেশে পিস টিভি বাংলায় जखिर आंतरिक बार्ता शत्रु के जय कर घृणा एवं शत्रुतार मे शत्रु के जय कर कौशल दयालु आल्ला पवित्र कुरने सुरा फसिलत सुरा नम्बर एक चल्लिस आयात नम्बर चौत्रिस हे नबी भलो और मंद कख एक होते तुम भलो दिए मंद के प्रतिहत करो तुम देखे जो जरा तुम बिरोधिता कर ता तुम परम बंधु शत्रु के पराजित ना कर बर जय कर हृदय मन के जय कर मानवतार समाधान